Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I'm happy to see that you're back. Please leave a like, subscribe and enjoy. And let's get straight into the video. This game is very addicting. Let's do another one. Creepy crits. So I've almost unlocked everything in here. Definitely high enough, not high enough for that one. I guess we go to the pumpkin pastures. This will be very easy, I think. Since I'm so much above the recommended. But the other one would be too hard, so. The Illager raids have roasted this once lush land to ruin. Only one village remains unspoiled in this corner of the world. Make haste, hero. You must warn the villagers there of the battle to come. You are their only hope. Oh, so there are actually no more villagers there. Never heard of those illagers. Are they actually a thing in, in the actual Minecraft game? I haven't played it in a while. <laughs> These plates heal me, so I'm guessing it's. I'm guessing it's a matter of focus on the right enemies. It hit me quite, quite hard. Sickles. Yeah. Won't be using those. Pff, normal sickles. What am I, a peasant? And only level 12 as well. So I'm guessing maybe it's useful when I'm low health and there are like only a couple of enemies to then use these. Not really liking those daggers, and they also like not heal all the time. I actually think my glaive is better at the moment, or just in general. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think those daggers are pretty cool, and they hit like fast. They heal you a little bit, but. I don't feel it's like enough, the trade off isn't worth it. Not compared to the glaive, it kills way faster so I get hit way less. And then it has poisoning. Which is also quite nice. So like I said last time, if, if you enjoy the game you want to keep watching, maybe you can leave something in the comments I could talk about while I'm playing. I'd love to not just be commentating on the game 24-7. That also gets like a bit, little bit boring for me as well. I'm recording this one after the previous episodes, because it's really really addicting. I will end. Well, not end. I won't be recording another one after this though. Because after this, I want to do workouts, take a shower, eat the fries, like I said last episode, which I'm very much looking forward to. Then I'll be meeting that friend, like I said. Dog could have died there. They can just spawn another one, so. 
not a problem. Not really been running into much much loot like gems and stuff like that. Saying that, I find like this golden chest. Like, I really want to find like an epic bow, or maybe like armor, something special. Definitely, a bow would be useful. I've also not really been trying the thunder attack. Look at how good the spear is. Can't get up here. Oh, this is a cool vantage point. Getting on a boat, 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 on a boat. I do think the game might be a little bit too short. It could have made it definitely longer, or made made something that people can make levels themselves. And you could play them. Maybe first, like developers had to. Confirm them before actually they were released online so that they're not like just money and XP grinders. I do think they could have been a bit more, could have done a little bit more just to keep it simple. It's definitely a fun game, that's there's no arguing with that. Always explode so late. Very big area. So apparently, my dog died. Didn't notice that. Or my wolf, I guess. It's more like a dog to me. This would be perfect for like a hidden item, but no. Nothing over there. What was that? A chicken attacked me. So I've already seen a chest up there, that's nice. I mustn't forget about that. as well as the normal ones. I think that guy has the, the hunter bomb. Quite a big side area. So what happens to these? What was the point of them coming out of the ground? It's not like they actually blocked me or something. 
someone has a cave in there. It's like a nice thing to find, like a lot of extra area. Hopefully. Nothing with that candle. It's also very cool how he runs with the blade, like point forwards. Downhill first, down here. Once again, like this green flame. Oh, another sickle again. I'm not going to use sickles, and daggers aren't too good either, too, apparently. I guess they're good, but just not if you're playing solo. Okay, not there. okay so this was quite a small game actually. Then we'll continue with the normal routes. It looks like there was like a little connecting part to the chest. I'm not sure if I if that's actually doable. I think it's that part. Yeah, I definitely can't can't go via that way. Oh, so that's back. When are there actually zombie chickens? Look at the range. I do think I was very lucky finding all those epic items. Also like this mage armor I have on. It's way better than the standard armor you find. <coughs> also like a higher level. Oh, so I wasn't supposed to actually fall down there. And they will run out of it. Oh, oh wow. Hit me. Alright, I'll 
check the corner. <coughs> wow, my voice. Check the corner down below here. It's like uh, an area I haven't explored yet. Like an exploding pillar. Nothing in there. Must be coming towards the end, no? Of this area, I mean. Nice, already have like thousand four hundred. Guys explodes with like the helmet on. Why is my character not attacking them? This is very nicely made, the colors and things like that. We must be coming close to the village now. that guy up. There was a good use of the mushroom to increase my attack speeds because I saw he didn't really have a lot of health. Turning and pushing enemies back as you go. Don't really see the use of that. 
That doesn't sound like too useful to me. I'll keep it for now, but... So that way is actually going further. that creeper like right on time. Damn, already have to hit them twice. Again a pretty big area. Don't really like it because it's so easy like to miss items. actually has like quite a lot of health he's been hit so many times and yet he's not dead
kept like closing me in. Damn, that was annoying. Oh, didn't see him. I don't think these are better. That's not really a thing, that's a no. Like, what the hell, dude? I couldn't even roll past the guy. How is that fair? There wasn't even a wall there. I just couldn't roll past him. Still haven't seen the thunder, but I also haven't... That's funny. Um, but I also haven't really been rolling through them. I just tried to do it, I think, but nothing happened. I just got stuck and died. There are invisible blocks there. Parts connect. Like, look how big this, this area is. It's so easy to miss something. It's also very big, so I can already see there being a lot of monsters spawning. There's a chest marked. I won't go grab that one in a second, it's pretty close to the bell anyway. So it's saying like warning bell, but I don't think there are any villagers left in this place. Just spawn already. Like, look, I rolled, but nothing. <coughs> well, my voice. I rolled, but nothing happened there. This rolling thing. I also don't think I read it wrong. It sometimes feels as if my guy doesn't want to hit the monster. Maybe it gets like tired because it's a big weapon. Chest or nothing? Really? Ok, 
Okay then. Victory! And the villagers of the pumpkin past I did go it. on to fight another day. So difficult. <sighs> Oh, every chest. So you can check whether you've had it. Flaming quiver. The hell? That seems very... It gives you burning arrows. 14 range damage per second. But how does it work? Is it like one shot? Is it temporary? Guess I'd put it on that one. So now my f they're always on fire. Oh, I have to wander in travel. Random artifacts. Oh, it's shields. I saw this. I'm not sure whether it's very useful. I'd say this is very useful. Well, that's not useful at all. Another soul healer. So the one I actually already had was better than these ones. Well, that's sad. Okay, I think this flaming arrow is very nice. It stays that way, so... I'll keep the totem for now. This is also quite a lot of damage. Such a hard decision to make. What will I use? Anyway, guys, I'll, I'll end this episode here. Um, quickly going to test my arrows on these guys. Definitely seem very useful. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe. I I am hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.